Hello everybody, this is Falix1, and I just want to make a short video here. There's a lot of questions on the floor 134, not 136 like I said, but uh, the Skull Dungeon in Stardew Valley. Uh, I got a lot more hits in that video than I thought I would. Not as much as you know a big channel would get, but it's a lot for me on YouTube, and I really appreciate it. Uh, most of what I'm going to talk about here in this short video is going to be covered in other guides. But this will just cover some frequently asked questions and maybe show you some things you didn't know about and maybe help you out just playing and progressing in the game a little bit. But first thing, let's see, this isn't a third year so I'm a little different than where I was at the time. Uh, first of all, a big thing that was asked about how, how, many, like, how did I get all the bombs that I got? Uh, I bought most of them. I'll show you that NPC, as some people didn't really know about them. But, you can also craft them. It takes a dark and a, or a lunar and a solar essence, as well as full, four gold ore. Whenever you donate 60 artifacts to the collector, you'll get the key to the sewer. And you can just come down to this guy, and generally you have to talk to him a couple of times. But, he has an item that'll change every day. I think like Fridays are Iridium sprinklers, but you can buy 10 of these a day from them. Uh, it's pretty cheap. Uh, it's cheaper definitely than buying bombs if you already have a lot of gold stocked up, but this guy will let you stock up a whole lot of bombs for a pretty low price. Uh, the next thing is at the dwarf. Uh, some people didn't seem to know about him. Ugh, I hate that the horse can't go through some gaps. Uh, the dwarf can be found in the mines. I believe you need to have a steel pickaxe to break it, or you can use a cherry bomb. Uh, you can't talk to him until you get four dwarf scrolls. You can find those just in the mines. Uh, I believe, like the fourth one, you have to be above like level 40 or so. It just can't be found at the start. Uh, it took a very long time in this playthrough for me to actually be able to find the scrolls. I think. 15, 20 trips into the mine before I got it. And then I made another where I was just trying to go down as fast as possible and I found all four of them in one run. But once you get all four of them, you can talk to the little miner dude here. He's got some decent items, but the big things here, the miner's treat, which gives you a gigantic amount of magnetism, which lets you collect things really easily. And the cherry bombs, the regular bombs, and the mega bombs. You know, expensive, but late in the game, there's not a lot to spend your money on, so it's not really bad. He's also got a rare crow here, and it's pretty adorable. Uh, the other thing I got asked is, how did I get so much stone? I really saved most of it. I used a lot for furniture or just stuff around my farm to make it look nice. But, uh, they're closed. I don't need to show up. But here at the Carpenters, I just buy them. They're 20 apiece, and it's late in the game. You don't really need the money. Just buy stacks of them and start making staircases out of it. Not really a hard thing to do. The big thing with the mines is a lot of people are talking to get swarmed and they can't really handle it. I, really not that diff Oh, new patch. Leah actually left the house and I'm not raising her on a commune anymore. I was feeling really bad about that. I marry her and this is the first time she's left the farm in a fucking year. But really just spam the mouse button. Most of that stuff in the mine, not gonna be a problem. You notice you move forward a little bit, so when the enemies are flying at you, try to hit them like right in the edge of the sword, and you shouldn't really ever take damage. I took a lot of damage in that video. Because a big thing that I recommend if you just want to have a lot of recovery items, just get chickens and ducks, and you'll have enough eggs for anything that you ever need. It's really not hard to raise them. Uh, if you get enough the grass out here, they raise themselves. And you can make your fried eggs or your omelets if you have cows and you can make the milk for it, which are just a little bit better. And you can spam that food. But I definitely recommend if you get some little spicy eels, try to save those up, as well as the miner's treats. The miner's treat is really nice if you're just kind of wanting to blast mine everything, because you can blow stuff up, walk right through the middle of it, and you have enough magnetism just to grab everything. Uh, and as far as what I was doing in that video, Past floor 100, that's not really what you need to do if you're just wanting to get a lot of iridium. It seemed about floor 70 
is that's that's the sweet spot about 470 the iridium nodes were plenty and you can do anything that you ever want with them there's not a lot to do with the iridium you can upgrade your tools and you can get some of the slime stuff as well as making iridium sprinklers but there's not a ton of recipes for it and maybe in the future that'll change but it seems just go to 470 and that's all you got to do uh, so just to recap, if you want stone, get it for the carpenter. Uh, bombs come from the dwarf, and you can craft them with the dark and solar essences and four gold ores. The essences can be bought ten a day of each at the or at the merchant in the sewers. And if you're looking for just really easy food, just grab some chickens. They're really good food, um, and also a lot of people really like them. Uh, there's a couple of people that like them as a love gift, but almost universally, eggs are just an easy gift to give people. They, it is generally a light gift, and a couple of people it's neutral, but I, I was able to raise... Most of these people, I was just giving them eggs. Uh, a couple of folks who liked like, the gems and stuff, it was really easy. But with very little effort, just walking around town, passing out eggs to everybody, got me a pretty good amount of hearts, and I've almost got the... All the hard achievements. But I hope this answers some questions. I'd recommend y'all check out my Twitch channel. I don't do a lot of Stardew Valley, but if it gets really popular, I'll, I'll do a lot more of it. Um, I normally speedrun Earthbound, Legend of Mana, and Secret of Mana, and I'll, I'll be going to Utah for a Twitch event to do Secret of Mana and Earthbound. Uh, if that interests you guys, I'd really appreciate the follow, and be sure to come check me out when I'm live, and I can answer any other questions you might have or something I didn't cover in the video. But look forward to having you, and you have a wonderful day.